Hey folks, today we're gonna to be fishing stumps. Stumps that are in three to four foot of water and drop into deeper water for spawning and pre-spawn crappie. We're gonna be using the Charlie Brewer two and eighth inch minnow for our bait. Thank y'all for watching Fishing Lake Country and thank you for subscribing, appreciate it guys. Let's watch this video. Chest is dead, so he got off of a stump. You can see this marker behind me Bob, in the, It says danger stump there. So that's what I was doing today was figuring these crappy should have done move shallow. It's a nice crappy in there. Alright. We'll put it back. What I was doing, throwing a little swim bait. A Charlie Burr. Alright? Let me get a battery in this chesty. And we'll continue this episode. <laughs> wow, he acts like he's a horse. And y'all can't see it, it's a stump right there. Well, that's what I'm doing. So many crappy have moved up on stumps. Oh, he's a nice one. I thought you acted like he was a horse. Oh, yeah, I'll let you go. So many crappy have moved up on stumps. Oh, my gosh, what a pig. A hog. A donkey, maybe, even. Isn't that a monster, guys? Gosh. I'm going to turn it. Y'all see I got a camera on the death finder up there? I've got it on there, though. Right, get this bait out of his mouth. There it is. Oh, ugly. What I call it. That's a nice fish, guys. I mean, a nice one. He is a nice one. I'm gonna make sure I get the I got to see him in the back of the camera because sometimes I told y'all I'm evidently I'm not very good at the camera. Alright guys. Well I ain't gonna lie to y'all. It's been about an hour and a half. I went back in that pocket. I caught I've caught some little stuff that y'all not gonna see. I've caught some sunfish, and I caught some white perch. Crappy have been hard to come by. This is why, this is why I was telling y'all a couple videos back. As summer comes, they start to spawn. See, they don't turn pretty black, that's a male. And that's, that's why they're hard to catch right now today, guys. They're spawning, and I'm catching them off of stumps. I can see the dark spots, I'm going in areas, and they're not on every stump. I wish they were, all right? But that ain't how it goes when they get on stumps, guys. You just got to cover a lot of them. And not all of them want to bite. You know what I'm saying? When they're spawning, you just got to find one that's still a little interested. But uh, I have through at probably six stumps, six or eight stumps from, from that point to here. And that's the first bite I've had. Some perch are pestering me now because they don't move shallow. That makes it tougher. But when they go on, when they go on the spawn and they move on to cover that shallow, guys, it gets hard. It gets really hard to come up with a uh, fish. And you got to cover a lot of ground unless you got an area that, a good spawning area that has a lot of crappie. Now, I was in this cove last Saturday and made a video. No problem making a video. I made a video in about three hours and caught some nice fish. Today, I'm struggling to catch any crappie. The reason I came back in this area is because I, I had no trouble casting here last week. Okay? I gotta fix so ugly here. But I, I knew they was gonna be in here and was gonna spawn in here because I mean they were here last weekend, right? So that's how that's how much difference a few days can make. Alright guys, forgive the wind. That's the stump under the water. You can see it's a fish right there in the front of it. But that's the stump. Um, that's the stump I just caught that crap off. You see it comes to the surface right there. But that's probably a fish right there at the bottom. I moved my scope over here a little bit. Alright? You see, six foot of water. And the bottom of that stump's probably in four, four and a half. It's on that grade. All right. I think that's my pattern because the shallow stumps don't seem to have the crappy. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fish deeper stumps. All right, guys. I got another one. I'm going to see if I can bring him across the front of the boat. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's not that big. I'm going to lift him. I'm going to take a chance here. There you go. Oh, ugly. Oh, 
glue there. Yes, yeah, give yourself some. Have you ever worked against yourself? He doesn't have it bad, guys. I just can't get my finger to it. Ah. Alright, guys. He just had it down in a little too, a little too far. I had to get a pair of pliers to get a hold of it. But I got it. That guy's found another one. I thought he was really big while he was fighting, but he's. <laughs> I lapsed him. Told you I was part cowboy. Can y'all do that? Yeah, he's gonna fend me in a minute, ain't he? Well, my chesty just died again, guys. Y'all hear me say it in all the videos. My chesty quit. On that, on this camera that, that I'm filming with, I got a big battery pack on it. I do it on this camera. This gets in the way of all the stuff on my chest. He's a baby. He's about nine and a half, maybe ten. Well, no ugly though. Goodness gracious. He thinks he's a monster. There's two stumps here side by side. I see one. Oh, he is a nice one. I've done that because I got six pound on this rod. I'm using a heavier line because I'm getting hung up on the stumps and something. I got to pop it off. He's a nice crappy. I didn't think he was that big. No ugly. I got one more of those left, that color. I call it old ugly. That's, that's chartreuse and yellow. That's a nice crappy, guys. You know, it's a real nice crappy. All right, guys. Go on. Now the wind and the boat traffic and the spot locks them move me to the stump. I can see the stump there now. Uh, I can make it out, hog. I made a stump out right there. And I moved the live scope around and I can see the next stump. So I was sitting out here casting at it. I cast at it, guys, probably eight times before I got bit. I'm just saying, when you, when you know they're on these stumps and they're on the deeper stumps, I'm Excuse me, the back of the boat's in six foot now. They're on the stumps that are in four to six foot of water. Seems like the better stumps. Uh, and where the better fish are too, okay? That might help you on your lake. You know, when they're spawning on stumps, get on the get on the big ones. Now, there's some on lay downs, I'm sure. But I'm not doing that today. Today I'm just fishing stumps. That's what that's what this video is about. Finding crappy on stumps. We know the vast uh, spawn on stumps, but a lot of people don't realize that crappy do too. Guys, you can see a stump right there. It looks like it's a fish to the left of it. Well, maybe not. Might be a piece of trash, but you can see the stump. Now, I, I can see the dark spot in the water. That's how I'm finding them. And it's, if I pull into a pocket, it's like it has quite a few. So, let's see if we can catch some fish off of them. Yeah, there is a fish to the left of it moving there. All right, guys, what do you think? We caught some fish. Here's what we're using. Okay, it's a slide of minute, that's who went eighth. This one, uh, the two best colors for me I've had these for a couple of years. This is I'm gonna show you the two best colors first This is called smoke blue and it is it's a smoke with a little silver bottom It's got blue and silver flake with in it and guys bass eat them too I'm telling you you can catch a little bit of everything on those and my favorite one I call it all ugly because it is I'm, look I'm down to one guys <laughs> And you know <laughs> I, I will have to order some more Anna uh, this color is called yellow belly chartreuse, all right? And see, it's, it is. Top half is chartreuse, bottom is yellow. But guys, it's a good one. I'm telling you, that's just a good color. It is ugly, isn't it? But I'm telling you what, bass eat that one too. And I've got like chartreuse, uh, watermelon red. I've got other colors, but those two are the best for me right all the time. The slider heads, okay, guys? I'm going to show you one right here. 1 32nd, that's what I usually throw, or 1 16th. I had one, one of each rig. If the stump was shallow and it's calm and it's flat and you ain't got a bunch of wind, use the 1 32nd. Guys, it's a Saturday afternoon. It's about 5 o'clock and the lake is busy. I'm sorry. I sat here a long time and waited for a chance. Hopefully that was for quiet down. And I thought I caught one. This is a 1 32nd. All right, let me show you something. You can put it on there pretty weedless okay you start this like you would texas rig worm you got to come back to that first segment though okay you come right back around that first segment what i do is i come all the way back through like that guys and i lay the hook point on its back now if you can see you got just a little point up if you want to you can bury that point in it like that if you want to do that i don't i leave it out because when that crappy bites down on it like that i want him to get that hook okay and i've messed a few today and i and i, and I lost a couple 
today because sometimes they would grab it like that. If you don't set the hook hard enough, you got to pull a little harder with this. You know, most times the crap, I just pull. And that's why I was using this one rod with six pound test a lot. Because when they'd hit and I feel them load up on it, I'd give a little harder pull than I usually do. Because I want to pull that bait down and pull that hook into that fish, okay? But when you're fishing the stumps, you don't get hung up all the time. Yes, did I get hung up? I got hung up a few times. and But I got them back. I didn't lose any. I, I could go over to the stump and go on the back side of it, get close to it, and go on the back side of it and pop it off. Or you know how you do is keep your line tight, pull it, snap it, and it come off, all right? Y'all know how to do that. If you don't, uh, in the comments, say, hey, Dennis, show us how to do that, and I'll, I'll show that in one of my videos. We call it the river pop, so I don't know what y'all call it. Banjo, some of people, some, I heard people call it the banjo string or something because you, you pull it and pop it. Whatever, it does work. Hey, guys, my name is Dennis, Fishing Lake Country. Shared something else with you. Um, if you never thought about the crap, crap you're getting on stumps, you know, a lot of people probably haven't thought about that. They will get on stumps just like bass do. When this lake, you know, it's, it's, it's a it's a common thing to catch crappy off of stumps. You can catch it when you're bass fishing. You'd be pitching a jig something to a stump and catch a crappy. I've heard guys say, I caught a nice crappy today on a jig because they're on that stump spawn just like a bass does. And when that bait falls there, they just reaction, they hit it, right? Guys, see you next time. Fishing Lake Country. See you.